So I'm going to go back to the class in Canterbury. Uh, one of my clients who's done a lot of work with me over the years, he's a military personnel. I'm not going to say too much about him, uh, in the British services, uh, came to me when his roommate, who had been a client of mine, they got talking about different things, and and this man came to my first class. I said, you know, what do you want? And he said, well, he said, the, the states that my roommate talked about, he said, I've been to. And I said, okay, because I'm skeptical sometimes, you know what I mean? I said, talk about it. And he got there, one of the ways that Maslow says you can. Uh, he'd survived severe trauma. His childhood sweetheart, uh, they were about to get married, then she developed a tumor, and he and he was with her as she died. And and then what he said was, this is the most amazing state. And I said, it lasts about 18 months. He said, almost to the day. He said, it was it was quite phenomenal a state. He said, but I can't recapture it. And I said, no, because you don't want to go through what you went through to, to do it. He said, right, 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 right. And there's a movie, Fearless, with Jeff Bridges that shows very well how it, it's unsustainable if you don't have any training. At any rate, this gentleman has been doing classes with me over the years, and he's been through in some situations that I never, ever want to be in, uh, in an active war zone and things like that. At one point I said to him, I said, I don't know if we can hold you together. <laughs> I said, you've been through some really traumatic stuff, and I don't know whether this will keep working. But this is the first class, and he came and he said, this is the first class that I felt this good. Now, his previous class was, we went after, I, I started talking to him about his need to detoxify because his system was full of toxins, I could see it. And so he did a detoxification, had some uh, surgery that reduced uh, sleep apnea problems, so he's resting well. But he said, I feel great. He said, I, and I want to see how high I can go. I want to see where do I go from here in these classes. He said, this is the first time I don't feel like I need it. I feel like I want your class. And I, don't, he, I, I think it's double digits that he's done just trying to keep himself together and keep a perspective in his life that he claims I give him. <laughs> but there was a, a new participant. There were a couple of new participants. And I was asking Friday night, uh, what do you want? Now, one of the things I tell people, in my class, you can lay down, you can relax. It's everything, you know, in fact, when people are relaxed, they seem to learn more. But uh, this gentleman was laying down, and everybody's going through these struggles of, what do you want? <laughs> and I said to him, okay, what do you want to create out of this weekend? And he's got this real Liverpoolian accent, which I can't do very well. But he said, oh, you know, he said a black Lamborghini here and a supermodel to fuck me. <laughs> I was so entertained by that. I got to tell you, the, one of the new guys just I went through the roof. That's so superficial. That's so stupid. Because he was still trying to hang on to this relevance, this thing. Your life is irrelevant. Okay? it's You're, you're here to have fun. Nobody cares what you want. Uh, I'll ask you if I care. But live your life. Have fun. Do what you want to do. This may be the only blip of consciousness. If you want to see how to go to a different state of awareness, give me a call. It's my job. It's a great job. I like it.